how to find the white spaces untouched by your brand. Introduction. We are going back to our example of the cosmetic producer and we want to see where we can actually increase our sales. So he is a market leader in Poland and then he has uh, also recently entered the Romania and has been there for five years. What you will have to do is find white spaces in Poland and uh, see what kind of uh, sales it means uh, that we can generate out of this. By white spaces, we mean places where you are not present at all or your share or sales is inadequate with comparison with other places. So a white space would be, for example, a place where you have a much lower than the average sales per one person or uh, your share is much, much lower than your average in the country. So we're going to be looking for this sort of a white spaces and we're going to be estimating what could be the sales if we try to get at least to the average level for the country. So let's move on to the solution. Please open via white spaces version 2 and here in the master sheet you will find the table of content. So we will try here two approaches and later on I will show you how to present it in the PowerPoint the results. So first, we're going to try to analyze the potential of entering a new market or increasing our presence by looking at the per capita estimation. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing by comparing the share in local markets. And later on, I will show you how to present those two versions in PowerPoint. Let's start with the approach using the per capita estimation. If you go to the sheet Poland 1, you will see that uh, we have the regions where we are present, the regions in Poland, and for those regions we have filled in some of the data. So first of all, we have a total number of people, then we have a number of men and women. In some approaches you might be looking at the total population when you are calculating the per capita, in others you would be just concentrating, for example, on women. Then we have a sales of our cosmetics, the current level, and on the base of this we calculate the consumption per capita. So we basically divide the sales in a specific market and we divide it by total number of people. So this is what we got in column J. The average being 2.3 US dollars per capita. Now, when we have this, the average and also the calculation per capita for each and every region, we can try to define what should be the target. And we have defined it in column K. And the um, definition is very easy. So we want to have at least the average level. If it is above the average level, then we want to keep it the way it is. So we have a 2.3 the average. And then if it's lower, so for example, for the Mazowiecki, so the row 10, we can see that the current level is 0 0.2 and we want to go up to 2.3. For Shlonske, it is 0 0.4 and again, we want to go to 2.3. For this, we use the max formula, which takes the current level, compares it uh, with the average, and then gives back what's bigger. So if uh, the average is bigger, then we get the average. If uh, the current level is bigger, like it is in the case of, the, for example, the Lubelskie, which is in row 17, then it gives back us the 7 US dollars per capita, which is the current level. So we get that the average should move from 2.3 to 3.1. And now what we want to get also is the target sales. So in column I, we had the current one. And in column L, we've got the target sales level. And we get it by multiplying the number of people from column F by the target sales per capita. So this gives us the sales in each and every region. By comparing column L and I, we get the potential increase in sales. So for example, for the Mazowiecki, we get that uh, it goes up from 1 million to 12 million because we go up in the sales per capita and this region has actually a lot of people. So in column M, we've got uh, all the potential uh, per regions. So uh, for example, it's 11 million potential increase of sales in Mazowiecki and then 1.2 million in Opolskie, which is here in row 25. So this gives us the estimation using the per capita division. And we can also calculate the percentage of potential sales improvements. So we can see that 29% uh, of the total improvement comes from Mazowiecki. 22 from Shlonskie and 13 comes from Velkopolskie. So in total, those three regions give you 65% of the difference. So if you would have uh, limited resources, you should probably just pick those three and concentrate on them. 
We also have other thing called all the weighted distribution, which will tell you what you should make. So for example, here we can see that we have to improve our weighted distribution. So increase the number of places where we are. Whereas for the region Śląskie, it, uh, the weighted distribution is 90. So there is a different problem than the distribution. Now we will do exactly the same sort of estimation, but this time we're going to be using the shares in local market. So let's go to the sheet number two. And here you will see data we have put in that we'll use to estimate the shares and also the targets. So first of all, again, we have regions, total number of people, men and women. We have added the sales of our cosmetics. So like we had in the previous example. So the total market is 475 million, but the Mazowiecki, where we have a low share, apparently it's 74 million. Using our sales and the size of the local markets, we calculate the current shares. And from this, we get that, for example, Mazowiecki is 1%, whereas there are some markets like here in uh, Podkarpatskie, which is 55%, and Lubelskie even 58 So you can see there is a huge spread in shares between the markets. Anyway, the average is 21%. And as in the previous example, in column L, we define the, the target local market share. And as in the previous example, we put it to be equal at least to the level of the current average. So if, if it's below 21, we want this to be at least 21. But if it's above, then we wanted uh, this to be kept on this high level. So for Mazowiecki, since it's 1% and 21 is bigger, we use the max function and we get the 21 as a target. And this is what happens for all the values. We get that target group, so the new average should be 28. And bear in mind that this is average arithmetic, not weighted. There will be a different value for that. In column M, we get the sales of our cosmetics as a target. So if we had a 21% share in the local market, this would mean that we should be selling, for example, in Mazowiecki, 15 million. And we get it by multiplying the total market by the target share. So we get our estimated sales to be equal to 24 millions and the current one is 76 millions. Once we've got this, we can in column N calculate the difference and we get uh, 40 million, for example, for Mazowiecki, 11 million for Śląskie and so on and so forth. In total, we can increase our sales by 48 million. And again, as in the previous one, we put column O, where you have the percentage of the total potential. So again, Mazowiecki is the highest one. It gives us the 30% of the potential. And then the second one is Śląskie, which gives us 23% of the total potential. And as in the previous example, something which will help you, we put in column P, the weighted distribution of the current distribution system. So, for example, for the local market of Mazowiecki, it's 30%. So it means that uh, you can try to achieve this goal of 21% uh, of uh, share in column M here in L10 by increasing the weighted distribution. And obviously, there will be places like um, this one. So weighted distribution being 90. So Śląskie, we want to increase our share from 3% to 21%, but we can't achieve it by increasing the weighted distribution. So there's obviously something wrong with how we sell or at what price we sell. It might be too high or it might be with the wrong promotion given the local market. One way or the other, there's a, a, spe a specific strategy to be developed for each and every region. So for Mazowiecki, it could be, for example, increasing the weight distribution, whereas for Śląskie, you'd have to probably play with the price and promotion there. So in the next lecture, I will show you how to present it in PowerPoint as a slide. Let's try to present the results of the analysis in PowerPoint. So we're going to start with the per capita approach. So here we've got the sales per person, the current situation, and also on the average target that we should achieve. So here we've got the region for simplicity. We just put a shortcut for them. And then we have the current levels and the average being somewhere here. So this means that for the regions where we have a high sales per capita, we want to keep it that way. But for those which are below the average, we want to go up towards the average. So here in R1, we want to go up to the current average. And the same goes for R2, IR3, R4, etc. And out of this, we can also show the potential savings. And the best way to show it is the waterfall and because it also can help you to show it in a way that will give an idea where is the biggest contribution coming from. So we know that the total is uh, 37 million, almost 38. And out of this, we can see that uh, the biggest contribution is from R1, R2, R3. 
so from those three regions. And the rest have some contribution, but this is not that important given the size of potential increase from those three first regions. So this is how I would propose showing it on slide. So again, we show first the current level in blue and then the target for the places where the current sales is below the average. And then you show the potential by using the waterfall. And again, the same we can do for the other approach with the shares. So here we've got the current share in the local markets. So for example, for R8, it's 58%, for R9, it's 55 And again, the average to show us where we should move with the local markets that are below the average. As in the previous example, we can also show the potential of increasing sales using the waterfall. Here, obviously, we have a, a little bit different numbers. So it's 48 and not 39. And again, the three regions are the biggest contributors to the whole savings. So we should probably start with implementation in those three regions to get the biggest part of the results with the fewest resources put towards that.